Hello guys, I'm Julia. I'm here at NAM 2020. And next to me, I've got the wonderful Billy Sheen again. Thank You're you very so kind, Julia. Much. Thank you. Great to see you again. Yeah, it's great wonderful. to see you. A lot of things happened in the last time. So, yeah. would you mind just beginning with one of the one of them? Well, the most significant, I believe, is the new Sons of Apollo record. Uh, MMXX I came know. out yesterday. Uh, I was in my in my hotel room. I signed the deal for Talus. We're going to do a record uh, in a few months. Wow. I have another record I'm doing with a great songwriter named John Statham. He came to me with 40 songs, all of them were hits. So it's hard to decide which ones to do. Oh my God. Here at the NAMM show, I have new DiMarzio pickups, which are fantastic. Yes, I've seen a picture of them. Oh, it's really great. They're contour, they're, they're, they're not, no sharp edges. Yeah. The little screw thing is lower so you can have a spot for your thumb. They're encased in metal that's grounded, so there's no noise at all from okay. them. Okay. And they're fantastic. But when did you develop them? Like last year? Actually, I've been developing developing them since the 70s. When I started to take pickups and grind them down and shave them and put epoxy wow. on them. So this is the final oh my the final God. version done properly by Larry DiMarzio. Wow. So, and I, I, we're very excited about them. And I already have them in one of my bases, which is the Yamaha 30 year anniversary base, which is on display at Yamaha yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, put them in there and they work perfectly. Uh, so. So uh, when are they coming out? Uh, where? Uh, any minute. Uh, they, I know they're just short of being in production right okay. now. Nice. I've seen a couple of the prototypes. And then also I had a, a great uh, meeting with uh, Line Six, and I worked with them directly to model a pro audio compressor. Uh, and I wasn't supposed to say anything about it, but they announced it. <laughs> so it, so the, now you're allowed to. And now to I'm say allowed to. So the new version of the Line 6 firmware for the Helix yeah. will have this, this compressor in it, and it is glorious. It really wow. sounds great. So I can't wait to hear that. Oh and then, always, as usual, I'm here at the EBS booth, so we have to talk about yes, the, the ultimate uh, pedal. A couple of gigs I did, I didn't have time to take uh, any gear. I just take this and this alone, plugged into this. This alone? How do you use it? Is it like a. Uh, just plugged into an amp. Oh, drive up. clean, face. Now, here, what it has also, it has you know input and output. But these two, these two here are yeah. loops. So there's a distortion channel and a clean channel. I see. And they mix together. But the, there's a loop on just the distortion channel and a loop on just the clean channel. So you can put different effects on the distortion the or hell? on the clean. And also inside the chip, the little uh, uh, integrated circuit chip mm -hmm. is replaceable. So you can go find like an old one from the 70s and, and put it in here and get and get a completely different tone. Matter of fact, there's a guy, a dear friend of mine, John Willis, on the Facebook Yamaha Attitude Base page. And he took about 10 different chips from different manufacturers and documented what each one sounded like. No. So you can fine tune this pedal to your own tone and your own, your own uh, idea. Is there a link where I can look this up? Uh, yeah, uh, you know well, that? well, that's on the, uh, it's, I'm sure it's on the uh, EBS website because okay. I know they took the information from this gentleman and put it up there. Okay, when you wow. open up, there's a chip, this is the main drive chip, and you can replace it and then do a d completely different tonality. Nice. Pretty wow. cool. That is for your kitty cat. Oh my God. That's like cat treats because I knew, we talked about your cat and I was so sad and oh, now I, I, now I we got see, a new boy. yeah, Rebel. He is so sweet. And and he's got a heart on his chest. A heart on his chest? Yeah. It's a bit rebel, the fixer of broken hearts. Oh my God. He fixed our broken heart. And what are your plans like for the next couple of months? Well, Sons of Apollo tour starts on Friday, not far from here in Pomona. So we're going to do all of Europe up to about February, no, into uh, the end of March. Okay. We take a little break and then we go to South America. And then I think we come back for some festivals in the summer, mm -hmm. and uh, who knows what else. You're so busy. Last time we met was end of September. Yeah, yeah. And you had so many things to do, like clinic in, yeah. in South America, I think. Yeah, I did. And we, all over the place. Now the clinics in South America, they wanted me to play with the local musicians, play like songs really? after my clinic. Oh, wow. So they had, uh, and it turns out they had some great players drummer, guitar player, yeah. and then I had to sing too, so I had to croak, <laughs> my, my frog voice, I had to croak through a couple of the songs, but I managed, but we had so much fun, it was great. Nice, nice. Great. So thank you very much for talking. Great to see you again, and Julia. yes, look the 
States app when he's playing all over the world. It's really worth to see all this. Thank you so much. Thank you much. so much, my dear. Beautiful. Bye. All right. <laughs>